Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and today I have something pretty cool to show you. This is the Fun Sky LM12-D Max 2. Yes, that is a ridiculous name. It also goes by the name of the T3 Pro Plus. And yes, that is a cannon on top. So you've got a drone with a camera and a cannon on top. Now for many of you watching, you're going to say that is pretty darn cool. Having a cannon on top of a drone, does it shoot something? Yes, it does. It shoots six millimeter plastic plastic pellets. Now of course others are going to view this and go what the heck is wrong with the world today? Now the company doesn't call this a cannon on the top, they call it a bullet launcher. I don't know which one's better, cannon or bullet launcher. However, it is pretty cool and it's unassuming. Let me show you some video. I took this out to my field and the guys were flying planes and doing their normal stuff. And I flew this around my friend Jock and he thought it was just some goofy toy. So he opened his mouth because I said, open your mouth, Jock. And then I shot some pellets into his mouth. What is it? It's got a gun on it. Oh, okay, see it now. Okay. Oh, and it's I, got a gun. It's got a gun, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you. Okay, Jacques. Yeah. But you ready? <laughs> I also flew this around my friend Joe, and I put a little Insta 360 camera up top, and then I started to shoot him, and he pretended to die from all the bullets hitting him. Check this out. So yes, you can get silly with this thing. It's pretty cool. Also, this little cannon pops off and you have just a typical drone. So before I show you more video on this product, let me just tell you the specs really quick. First off, it is a foldable drone. So you can unfold the props or fold it up to make it compact. You can pull the cannon off. You can put bullets in it. It does have brushless motors, so it is kind of powerful. And they do say you can fly this in level five winds. And there's three speeds on this. You have indoor speed, medium outdoor speed, and then high velocity outdoor speed. Surprisingly, it does have optical flow on the bottom, so you can fly it indoors. And as long as you have enough light in your room, it will see the floor in your house and stay still in the air. This camera up front is actually electronically controlled. And on your included transmitter, radio transmitter, you get with it there is a button to move the camera all the way down or look forward now because this is a very inexpensive camera drone and it's more for fun than anything else the camera up front only shoots at 720p resolution and if you want you can actually shoot video out the optical flow at the bottom at 480p resolution and of course there's no three axis gimbal on here so if your drone is doing this in the wind well your video is doing that in the wind so the next thing i want to show you is me flying this around the backyard and showing you some of the flight features you can see i have taken the bullet launcher off it so this portion of the video is going to be without the bullet launcher check it out we're ready to take this for our first outdoor flight here in my backyard with all this lovely snow. Power on the drone, press in the button, makes a lovely sound and put it on the ground. So this one's a little bit odd. You power the drone on first, then you power on the controller. After you hear the two beeps, move the joystick up and down. And now you're connected. Oh, I didn't mean to start it. If you move the joystick up after like this, watch, it starts the motors. And if you move it down, it stops the motors. There are buttons on here for auto takeoff, but I'm not gonna bother with that because it's too simple just to do this. So let's go up, move the left joystick up now. Okay, I'll try not to slip in the snow. All right, I'm out here just to see what the speeds are like. One beep, that's slow speed. So let's see what slow speed's like. Let's bring it low to the ground. I'll just bring it back. And here's slow, full blast slow. There we go, that's slow speed. And bring it back slow. There we are. Press that button. Two beeps. Second speed. Should be faster. There we are. Stop before I hit my fence and come on back. Three beeps and now I'm just going to move it away from me so I don't take myself out. And I'll put it over here. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, much faster. The nose goes away down so you can get a pretty decent speed in speed number three. So let me just put it back at speed one and let's see how she flies. Next thing to test is just see how well you can fly it. Just a normal person. Fly it around my backyard doing circles, figure eights. Yeah, it flies very well. Very, very well. You can fly it low. There's a barometer in it so it stays at the height. Nice and low to the ground. Nice little race quad. Looks like I hit the ground. I've got some snow on the bottom, so I don't know if my optical flow is working anymore. I got all this snow under it. Landed over here, so I got my optical flow working still. 
There we go, get all this snow off. I should also mention that even though I've got snow all over the bottom, I should also mention that we do have a button on the remote to turn the optical flow on or off. That's just in case it's acting up funny. So let me show you that now. So let's go up, start the motors, go up, and let's see if it's acting funny. So put it down low to the ground. It's drifting, right? So let's turn the optical flow on. Sits there nicely, and you'll always know if you have it on, just take your hand and put your hand underneath. It should mess it up. So that, or you could almost like make it follow your hand like that. It will follow your hand because that's what optical flow does. It follows the ground. There we go. So you can see the headlights in the front. You can turn them off or back on. So if you find you use up too much power, turn them on, turn them off. And the last thing to say is if you crash this thing, let's bring it down. Say you crashed it. So if you crash your drone and it's not flying correctly anymore, uh, grab these joysticks and pull them down to the bottom left like this. You'll hear a beep. And that should configure the gyro. So let's try it. Let's go up and see if it flies really good. There we go. It sits right there in the air. I can walk around it. It's not doing anything, so it seems to work. And if you want to land this in your hand, just pull down the left joystick and put your hand out. And there we go. It lands in your hand. All right, let's uh, turn the camera on and see what the camera looks like. So I've got my phone in the phone holder. I just have to connect the Wi-Fi from my phone to the Wi-Fi of the drone. So the drone Wi-Fi is called Flow. Look for the word Flow. I found it. So let it connect. After it connects, you can open the app. If you look at the drone and everything really close, you'll see water droplets. It's starting to rain, so I got to do this quick. So the app you want is called Wi-Fi UAV. Start that. You'll know you have the correct app and the correct connection because up at the top left it will say flow. All right, so I'm gonna hit start. And I should see on my phone what the drone camera sees out here is my fingers. So let's go forward here. Now remember there's no gimbal on this camera so if the drone bounces around, your video image is gonna bounce around. So the way you get a smooth image is just to fly really slow. Let's see, I've got it in the slow speed, I believe. And I'll show you the video from the camera. It zooms in a bit, try not to hit the trees. And go way up there, I'm looking across the street. Go this way. I'll take it up even higher. I'll go check out my roof. I always like to do that with these little drones. This is my roof in the rain. We had some snow and everything, so I'm gonna go up slow. Way up there. There we are. That should be my roof filmed with this little drone. And let's come down now. Coming down slow, and I should end up in the image at some point. It is really zoomed in, so I might be a really zoomed in individual in this image. How is that? There we go. Now the camera up front can be moved. Uh, I think it's, is it this? I think it's this button here, Lingus. Let's see, there you go. I can move the camera down. I'm looking at my feet. Or I can move the camera forward looking at me. And it should be looking all the way down at me. There we go. I don't know if you can see me. I should be below the camera. It's looking down at me. All right. All right, so honestly, it's a pretty good drone. I don't even have the Canon on it. Haven't shown you those features yet. But all in all, you know, for something so small, it just seems to work. The optical flow works, uh, the headlights work, the camera works. So yeah, I think for your money, you're getting something cheap. <laughs> and I mean cheap, but something cheap that actually works. Yeah. All right, so let's bring this down to my hand. There we go. It lands nicely. We're done. All right, you're back to me. And I guess what I should show you right now is the bullet launcher. It's pretty cool. So you have a little light in the front up here and that's not an aiming device, but I guess if the lights were low and you were flying indoors, it's probably an aiming device. Include it with the kit. You do get a lot of bullets and you can buy these online. They're super cheap. So you load the bullets up top. It holds quite a few. So on your remote, you have two buttons to fire. One is single shot. That was like two bullets. <laughs> it's supposed to be single shot. It's shooting two. Well, I guess it's double shot. I have no, maybe it's a double tap. And the other one is continuous shooting. So now, now it's time to get the vacuum out. So it's pretty cool. I would say it shoots, if I look out at my floor here, it probably shoots what, maybe 12 feet out. It, the pellets do not hurt when you get hit by the pellets. They're nothing exceptionally painful. I don't want to lie to you. So let me put some pellets in and shoot my hand. Put my hand out front so you can see it in the video. I'll even aim it that way. Here we go. 
There you go. Kids could play with this and fire it around the house. Just make sure they have eye protection on. Now, one thing I'm not going to show you in this video because I show it in so many videos, but the app for this drone is an app that is used in many other drones and I've shown that app in many other videos. In that app, you can actually make the drone take photos and video with gesture mode. So you can do this, you can do the bunny ears. And as long as the camera's pointing at you in that app, you can get gesture mode. It also has some silly little follow me functions, which don't really work. It's got all sorts of weird functions in that app that don't really work. But uh, for some people, they find it fun. So I'm gonna let you discover the app yourself if you buy this drone or just go watch one of my other videos on very inexpensive drones and you'll see the app. But the most important thing I want to show you right now is what you get when you buy this. Let me show you what comes in the box. Check this out. This is the box your drone comes in. Inside the box you'll find that everything is securely wrapped in plastic. The drone arrives in a folded condition. You can unfold it and it looks like this. Each battery will give you 10 minutes of flight time. To charge the battery, simply plug in a USB cable here. A USB cable is provided in box number two. Box number two also has a microphillips screwdriver that you'll need to install the spare props, which also come with spare screws. To attach the bullet launcher, simply remove the top cover and snap into place the bullet launcher. BBs are provided and they go in the top portion. A transmitter radio is included. All the buttons are self-explanatory, but you will need four AA batteries to power the radio. Those batteries are not included. The radio comes with an attachment that will hold a large cell phone. Two manuals are included, one for the app, one for the drone. Total weight of the drone with battery and cannon is only 227 grams. So you're back to me and you're wondering, what are my final thoughts? Well, I don't know of any other drones on the market at this price point that have a little bullet launcher on the top where people can have a blast of fun. If I had this when I was a kid, I would be over the moon. As well, even as old adults, it does elicit a lot of laughs and fun from older people who see this thing, especially when you're shooting at them or shooting around because it's just cool. And the best part of all is that it doesn't cost very much. Wait until you see the price below using my discount code. It's very inexpensive. Now, now in every video I make, there's always people out there who have a very disappointing life and they see everything from a negative view. So they always comment on my videos and ask me, isn't there something negative about it? Isn't there something negative you found about this? For the price, where do I begin? Anyways, for the price, I can't really say anything negative about it because it doesn't cost very much. You get what you pay for. Actually, you probably get more than what you pay for. I only have two negative things I'll say about this is that when I received this, I don't have a picture, but the box uh, that it was shipped in, really was damaged when it arrived. Nothing was damaged inside, but the box was just looked like the truck drove over it. And the second negative thing for me is that this instruction booklet that came with my kit is uh, not in English, it's in Mandarin. So I couldn't read it. Certainly, if you're new at this and you get an instruction booklet that's in a different language, all you do is you take your cell phone, you go to Google Translate, you put the camera, you look at it, and it translates it right on your phone. I didn't bother with this because this is so simple to use. So with all that said, the links to this product are directly below this video. Go check it out. Use my discount code, save a lot of dollars, and you'll see this is very inexpensive. And if you have people in your life who think this is pretty cool or are going to think this is pretty cool, then you got to get it for them because they're going to have a blast with this. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you have questions on this product or anything else I showed, then uh, post your comments below and I'll get back to you. But for now, I say thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Until then, I say bye.